Do it! What are you doing? Who let you pass? Your men. We're here to parley with your chief. Parley? With Renaixe? You truly believe that... Leave this to me. I want to know what they have to say. I know you, Renaixe. It is you who freed the Loyan prisoners. And to do that, you spilled the blood of my own brothers and sisters. We seek a cure for my people. That is the reason I liberated the sages and the reason I am here. I am fully committed to finding this cure, even if violence must be employed. Well, don't hold back for my sake. <laughs> Enough. You were defeated, but I am not here to take your lives. Where is the Mistress of Wisdom? I will keep the secret for myself. Neither the Bridge Alliance nor anyone else will learn it from me. I hope you speak with truth. You will find that Yernahach Kadachtas in the village of Vigshardir, to the northeast of this camp. Now leave us. And do not betray your word.
need a bit of practice. Good day. I'm looking... What are you doing here? You are in a hidden village, a sacred village. The Renaiks have no place here. I seek audience with the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Hakadactus. Do you know where I can find her? The Tierna is in her home. She goes, she comes as her heart desires. Only her Voglendaig must know. And if I knew where she was, it's not me who is going to tell her, Renaiks. Go away, leave me alone now. I have much to do. The great hunt is coming. Please now. I wish her no harm. I just need to speak with her. You speak well and say pretty things, but it is by your doings that you will be judged. Then, in that case, tell me what I can do. Hmm. There is much to be done in this season. And Pedir, the great gatherer, has not returned from the woods. Very well. Would you like me to go and get him? That would be good.
Good day. My name is Desade. Would you be the Voglendig of the Mistress of Wisdom? Vir Tirtumod, Renaxe. Yes, I am Mongos. What are you doing here in this sacred village? Do you know where I might find the Mistress of Wisdom? The Tirna Hach Kadaktas? I regret she is not here. Do you know where she might be found? I am sorry, but I will not tell her an a stranger to us. Your kind has many who bend the truth to their desires. Some of them tried to capture her. You need to prove to us that we can trust you. Tell me what I can do. You could help me find the secret seal that I lost. This would prove a little. It is a sacred stone that my mistress asked me to study and meditate with. I had it with me when I was going to the river, but I was suddenly attacked. Of course, the animals left me alone in the end, but I dropped the seal in my flight. I would gladly go and look for it, but I am alone in the village, waiting for the Tierna Hakkadaktas. And what with the preparations and the great hunt, I cannot leave at this time. I see. I'm going to look near the river and see if I can find it. Thank you, Renaxi. Can you help us remember where you lost the seal you were looking for? On the edge of the village, near the river. That is where I dropped it when the wild animals came and chased me away. Thank you. I'm going to see if I can find it. I must leave. Hello. Are you Padilla? People in the village are worried about you. Esquito. Are you say that I... I know no more if I am what you say. In truth, I fear being dust, waiting to settle on the earth. What has happened to you? Why such despair? My eyes have clouded. I see no more, nothing at all. I was once the great gatherer. But by the devils, why have they sent a blind man to gather herbs? No one knows. I said nothing to them. I know my village so well that I do not need to see to wander through it. But I can no longer gather the herbs of the sacred dye. I know they are here, in these woods, but I cannot find them. Very well. Can you tell me which plants you need? If you are certain that they are somewhere in this patch of woods, it won't be difficult. But how am I to guide you? The names we give to these plants are not the same as the names you give them. Describe them to me. I think I'll find them. One is a blue flower, the other a green mushroom, and the last ingredient is a blackberry. Very well. Don't go anywhere. I will take care of it. I am back, Padilla. Yes? I found the herbs that you were looking for. Here. Thank you. 
You are good for a Renaik, say. I did not know your kind bore souls such as you. I may return to the village now. I will tell them that you're on your way. Thank you again. Uh, but I ask you, do not tell them what you have learned about me. I do not wish that they treat me like a broken cripple. Goodbye, Padir. You are here again. I found Padir. He should be along shortly. Whatever made him take so long? He is not a man to be bothered by the beasts. <laughs> that poor Padir fell asleep under a tree. Age, I suppose. It seems like it would be the right time for him to take on an apprentice. Someone to help him on his walks. You are completely right. It would be a shame that such great wisdom be lost. I thank you, Renaixen. Your acts are as beautiful as your words. You are welcome here, and I hope you find the Tjarna Hachkadachtas. Ongos? What do you want, Renaixen? I found your seal. It was indeed near the river. My heart thanks you. You are a Renaixe like no other. The Tirna Hachadaktas would have been angry if I had lost it. The Tirna Hachadaktas went into the sacred bosque. She goes often there to meditate. And where could I find this bosque? To the west of the village, into the heart of the woods. There is a passage between the rocks that gives access. Be wary. This is an untamed place where the animals are wild and numerous. I must leave. Dewey, you cannot enter here. It is the dwelling of the Tierna Hakkadaktas. Very well. I'll be on my way.
Bortir to Madre Nyxi. Uh, good day. I seek the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Hak Kadaktus. I have no idea what you want with her, but no one in the village will tell her Renaixe where to find her. I do not seek to harm her, only to speak with her. I don't know where she is. Her Voglandaig might know, but I think he will tell you nothing. You are in one of the most sacred villages of our lands. The Renaixe are not welcome here. And we are busy making ready for the great hunt. Maybe I could help you with something. Help us? Hmm. Why not, after all? It would speak well of your intentions. During the great hunt, we place bells on the path to keep the animals away. During the last hunt, there was a great storm, and the bells were badly damaged. Would you like me to repair them? That would be good. If not, we need to make new ones, and I am afraid we will not have the time. Looking where it's been hung, it isn't surprising that these chimes are making no sound. They're far too low and can't catch the wind. Now, with the chimes in the proper place, they should sound like they are supposed to sound. The base of this bell is damaged. That's why it no longer makes a sound. I need to build a new one. These chimes are once again in working order. These chimes here are simply tangled, but I need to untangle them without breaking them. There. Everything is in order. It will chime whenever the wind blows upon the branches.
Let's take a look at this chime. Hmm. The base is damaged. The wooden tubes can no longer hit each other. We will need to craft a new base. These chimes are once again in working order. Well now, Renaixe, were you able to repair our bells for the hunt? Yes, they are all working now. You are very surprising. But I should have known that as an Onolmanawi, you would be different than the others. I now believe your words to be true when you say you desire no harm to Artirna. You need to find her Voglandai. I will tell him that your intentions are heartfelt. Not welcome here in Nixie. I regret troubling your rest. My name is Desarde. I'm a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Mev, daughter of Morrigan, daughter of Cardwin. What is a legate? And what could she want from me? I am an emissary, a representative of my nation. I have come to speak to you about a cure. Of what cure do you speak? You do not show signs of sickness. I am not. But on our continent, many people are dying from a terrible plague. We have named the sickness the Malachor, and none of our doctors have been able to heal anyone taken ill. We have heard talk from some of your people of a cure that is so powerful that it can heal almost anything. You would be... You must share with us the formula. Too many lives are at stake. You come here to my home, and you command me to help you. Arrogance! Renoixi! Please forgive us. I beg your pardon. We have seen so many people die of this affliction. Tierna hach kedachtas. I ask you to forgive these foreigners. They do not know our customs. But their intentions are peaceful. They seek a remedy to heal their people with conviction. And what is a Donegad of our people doing with these invaders? 
What do you seek in their company? Understanding, Tierna. And to learn for the good of our people. You truly think there is anything the Renaixe could teach of any value? They come here to rape our lands, as did those who came before them long ago. This miraculous cure that we heard talk of, could you share the formula with us? You are either completely crazed or foul liars. None of this makes sense. But I... Enough! I have lost enough time with your lies and your foolish thoughts. I do not know what you truly want from me, but I will not be used like some puppet. These roots are so interwoven and taut that it's impossible to get through them. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. There is a residue. It looks as if something had been placed here. She passed through here, there's no doubt of it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? Do you have any ideas? These roots protect a sacred passage that the Donei Gada wants not just anyone to take. You are correct to believe the Steely is bound to the entrance. You need to make an offering. In general, you place a seed of a particular plant chosen by the Donega that sealed the grotto. How to know which seed to place? And where would we find one? The easiest way is to ask someone who has already passed through the passage. There is a good chance that the Vogelendijk has already taken it with his mistress and could help us. 
Thank you, Siora. Your wisdom has been a great help to us. Were you able to meet the Tierna Hak Kadaktas? Yes, but to my grave disappointment, she fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I am once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her? Listen, I was able to meet the Tiana Hack thanks to you, but I haven't the slightest clue why she fled in the middle of our conversation. I sincerely believe that there was a misunderstanding. You know that I mean her no harm. If I was simply given a chance to explain, I'm certain that she would understand. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given, but there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. I will let you enter this one time, but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hak Kadaktas makes her home. And why should I fear the ancestor? I have stories of the Nadaig being shared with you. In your language, you would call them guardians. No, I've never heard of them. Those who are Donegad draw their power from the island. They are bound to her. They become Sinol Menawi. The more they draw power from the earth, the more of themselves they give her. There are times the bond becomes so strong that they abandon themselves completely and become her guardians. They take the face of a Nadaig who, as long as the island gives them life, watch over her dominion. The Nadaig are big and powerful, and they despise intruders. I must leave. Looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. These skulls symbolize the animals. Through some rituals, we greet them. We thank them for feeding and dressing us, so that the next hunting season, they will once again give us the weak amongst their herds. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the route passage. bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing, though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. <sighs> the Donegada use these symbols amongst themselves, and only they understand their meaning. It is a secret and sacred language. I cannot reveal to you what the bark contains without breaking my bond. Can you at least tell me if they speak of a passage? A seed? No. I would have told you. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. All these crushed plants and these powders. She must have been preparing a potion. It might be the miraculous remedy. <sighs> to be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this. With more time, I could study all of these components and perhaps... I doubt that Ongos will give us a chance to study this. We need to find the Tiena Hack. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the route passage.
This plant looks familiar. I saw some not far from here. Unfortunately, it has lost its seeds. I've already come across this flower. It is very rare, even for such an island as Tirfredi. I don't see any seeds here. The only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage. where the Tierna Hakodactus finds the seeds that were... These flowers are similar to those we found in the dwelling of the Tierna Hak, and they bear seeds. Those are the offering seeds we need to open the root passage. We should go try them. A seed to part the roots. I'll admit that it is poetic, but completely defies all logic. We have what we need. Let's go back to the Stone Steely. There. Oh, it's an amazing place. I'd love to have enough time to explore it. I might discover some secrets of the natives' exceptional knowledge. Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Diana Hakodactus has quite the head start.
Estiri.
can't do that. She must have jumped over it. I'm sure we can jump over it too. Nestiri. I hope that she did not hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be a Nadag here. We should be careful.
fight! Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. <laughs> Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? After revealing your conspiracy to me? You deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. Down the hack. She is unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals. The resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. <laughs> she does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... <sighs> what do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. And to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try? We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound. As they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite. But the crimes of the Renaixe enrage it. After all... Perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. 